everybody doing? Good? Coach, uh, just getting back out there, uh, yeah. this bowl preparation, how'd it go? Hey, it went very good. Uh, you know, the coaches were on the road for the last five days, and so this was the first chance to kind of get out of here and actually do a little bit of football. And, and like I told the players in the meeting before we came out here, I said, today is basically just generic. It has nothing to do with the bowl game. It's just kind of getting back into the practice habits, working on some individual skills and stuff. But it's fun to get back around these kids. How did they respond to being off of yeah, and, you know, I think I think they did. It's the first time for a lot of them. So, you know, it's an experience that they've never been around. It's like, oh, my gosh, we don't have a game this week. But, you know, we tried to do some things with them, uh, stretching, flexibility. We had actually had a yoga classes for them, uh, did a little bit of lifting and conditioning so that they wouldn't be just totally, you know, uh, take five total days off and stuff. But we've got basically about 13, 14 days before the game, and they're going to get three more days between now and kickoff to get off to – you don't want to wear them out before you get there. But it's uh, – you know, we've we've got a plan and a schedule, and and I think it'll be very good for them. For some of these guys, that it's their, their last for all. Here, yeah. Like Alex, you know. Sure. How pumped do you, do you see him? And, and he, yeah, I think I think that they will be. I mean, we talked a little bit about it. That you know, this is the first opportunity. I mean, we're on national television on ESPN, the only game of the night, and uh, it's, it's an opportunity for us to you know have a good performance to play the very best that we possibly can play. For some of these kids, it'll be the last time they ever play football. Period. Much less you know for FIU, and and hopefully we've got you know some kids that'll get a chance to maybe make it at the next level. But I think that these kids are very excited about it. And then going to the bowl site yesterday, I mean they. They just do a phenomenal job. Uh, Brett Delaney, the, the executive committee director of the of the bowl, I mean, he's been doing this now for probably 10 years, and, and every year it gets better and better. The hotel sites are great. Tropicana Park is a great place to play, and they've got a lot of great activities set up for the kids, and I think our guys are going to have a great experience. Butch, how about for you and your coaching staff? How much of a grind is this? Uh, well, there's a lot of irons in the fire right now. You know, I mean, we're trying to juggle the balls of – practicing for the team, bowl preparation, making sure that you're prepared, all the video cut-ups it's got to do, and then also, you know, hitting all the high schools and, and recruiting, doing home visits, and so a lot of coaches are burning the candle at both ends right now. How do you feel about the process? Well, I think it's good. I mean, uh, you know, the last five days, I mean, we probably got into – I don't know, maybe 45 or 50 high schools. We probably got in the homes of close to 45 or 50 kids. And and uh, this weekend is a big weekend. We've probably got 10 to 11 kids and their families coming in. And we'll do the same thing next weekend. And, um, you know, and then obviously National Sign Day comes up on December the 20th. So there's a lot of work got to get done between now and then. But how much has winning helped? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, winning and going to a bowl game has been asked, you know, just unbelievably important. Uh, kids can see the rise of the program, the direction of the program. Uh, they've had a chance. A lot of them have come unofficially to games, and they've been around our kids, and they, they love the excitement, the way that these kids play and the way they compete. And so uh, a lot of that stuff is infectious. And so I think, uh, you know, winning winning makes a lot of difference. For Magoo, let me phrase this carefully. Sure. Because it's his last, probably his last collegiate game. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but he's home. It's yeah. Game. How, how much fun do you think that is? Well, I think it's going to be great for him. We've got a couple of kids from that area, but I think, you know, that's where obviously he, you know, he started his high school career and coming down here. And, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you how much blessed that I am to have inherited him as the starting quarterback. He's been a great leader. He's been a phenomenal productive player on Saturdays. And uh, I think we're going to get a chance to watch him on Sundays for many years to come. How do you guys, how do you get the uh, you know, players that are playing in their first bowl game mentally prepared for? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the biggest thing is is just try to make sure that there's no surprises for them, is lay it all out. Uh, you know, these are the days that we're going to practice. What is the importance of that day? Uh, you know, we want them to have fun. I mean, this is a bowl experience, and so we don't want this to just be so much football, football, football. We want them to go up there, and there's some community-related activities. There's some beach activities. There's uh, Bush Gardens is going to host them. And, and so we want them to enjoy the experience, but we also, part of the enjoyment is, is winning the football game. And uh, how do you guys focus? This is, you know, your seven times, eight times yeah. the Super Bowl game. How do you guys focus? Well, I mean, obviously you talk to them and you just tell them the importance of it and, and you rely on your leaders, to be honest with you. The leaders obviously will help keep things organized when the coaches are on the road recruiting. And, uh, you know, and I just think that that's the best way. We, we've had four and a half months now to try to set the standard of how do you get ready for games, and I think they understand that. Uh, you got a chance to meet uh, Coach Collins uh, mm -hmm. yesterday. And yeah. About that meeting and, uh, 
No, he's very good. I've got a great deal of respect for him. Uh, you know, obviously he started his career here at FIU and then had great success at Florida. And, uh, you know, he's a defensive minded guy. So we, we've got a little bit of genetics in, the, in that standpoint. But uh, and he's done an excellent job this year. I mean, they they're a young football team, but they're very talented. This is a program uh, for people that aren't familiar with it. They've had two 10 win seasons and and, uh, you know, they've played extraordinarily well and they're very talented.